Hi guys, and welcome to episode 83 of the raid series. In the last episode, we smashed through uh, one of the Tarkov shooter quests. We got the vase, and um, we were uh, trying to do more shootable in heaven and nighttime kills, but slowly progressed. Um, a bit of luck, a bit unlucky. Just trying to find those players, just weren't appearing. Uh, in this episode, we're going to do the sniper scavs on customs using the Mosin and uh, try and get some 100 meter headshots on customs as well. And um, then we might, depending on how well that goes, we might jump into a nighttime factory raid at the end to continue on getting our nighttime kills. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. First up, we uh, we could put some more fuel into the uh, hideout. Unfortunately, there won't be anything to claim in the hideout as I'm filming this one directly after the previous episode. And um, do, do, do. I don't know if we're gonna have room to take these two out. No. We do need to make room, though, so these cheeses can go, that can go. Now, this tri-rail, um, I did touch on it briefly in the last episode. If you tank off this, you get rid of these two, because they're not needed. And that tri-rail goes on. And then from there, you can literally put whatever site you want on it. Um, my go-to site, I don't know if I've got one hidden somewhere. What I did. There. I don't know why there'd be one on that. Is a Veldo. All right. And this is the site I use for uh, all my uh, all my adventures, really, for Shooter Board in Heaven in particular. You could, we could put that stuff on there if we got one. Because we got it. Why not? Um, put that money away. I'm going to get therapist. Cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to customs and trying to get the best we can out of that. We haven't had a labs key card. I don't know what we're going to do with it for now. Just, I don't know. We're going to go down here. If we can get to 8.5 million, we'll probably do the next hideout uh, stash upgrade. There is an idea that uh, it's been going around my head about selling this weapon case. Um, 4.2 million. We sell that. Say we sold it for 4 million. That gets us up to nearly 8 million. And we could easily sell some of this other stuff to get there. Um... I don't know. It's it's very tempting. It's very tempting. Um, like, for example, if we were to sell all that stuff there, there's 500k. I don't know what we're going to do about these, these sites, though. That's the only thing. Um, like, 81k for these night visions. We can actually sell them on the flea market, too. 173. So let's go 169, 420. And then some of these guns can go. By some of them, I mean all of them. I don't know if I can get away with... I, I just want to make sure it sells. So if we went 399, 9, 420. 350k to put it up. All right, if that sells, then we'll be laughing. Because we could always buy another one. That's the thing. Um... Hundred and fifty K for that MDR there. Dude, we're not gonna use SVDs either. Another night vision. One of the night vision sold. I need to claim this quest, quest rewards too. Um, we do have the Altons as well, which oh, the Ragman ones here. If we sold both of these on the flea, 
I just don't want to send this completely broke, but a brand new Alton with face shield, 190K. Go 169,420. I'll sell there. And I'll pretty much sell fairly quickly, I'd imagine. We can even sell that lab's key card. 244. Cool. Um, now we sell for 29k. About where they sell it. Yep. The main thing we just need now to sell is that, uh, that weapons case, and we'll be laughing as long as it sells. a little bit yeah the hideout upgrade is eight and a half million and then we're just gonna buy some of them which is pretty straightforward it takes 48 hours but it would give us a bit more space all right let's go so customs killing sniper scavs uh which is Down here, seven sniper scavs, and also trying to get those 100 meter headshots if possible. We need three of those. So, customs in the daytime. Without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So we're in, I'm gonna do a quick reload just to make sure we've got um, a full mag because I knew we didn't for that. Now we need to move a little bit quickly on this because we have uh, a few things at play here. So the first thing I'm worried about is other players and how we're going to do our best job of keeping 100 meters away from them. So I want, there's a player spawn to, to our front right here. Like over there. Uh, the location is called Rocket Chair for anyone who doesn't know it. And there's nearly always someone spawning there. So what I'm trying to do... trying to see if they ran across yet and the next thing I want to do is go and get this sniper scab before anyone else does you got to move a little bit quick to some parts of this because if you don't you're gonna miss out on the opportunity of uh, of uh, killing those sniper scabs as some of them will just get popped off really early for people trying to get their quest done He's looking for any planes that might be running down. All right, first scav's done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up here. looking for any players on the other side of the water and that's 100 meters can't remember if I reloaded I got a lot of my 100 meter headshots in this position right here it's actually a really good one 
Particularly on the left hand side. So the way I'm doing the free looks, holding my mouse wheel down. The scabs that just went past there. I used to do this with a thermal sight, and it used to be so easy. Literally, you'd see them so quickly. I checked the other chimney to see if there was a scav up there. I uh, couldn't see it yet. Might spawn in a little bit later. Might have been just a touch too late to get the players as they're running across. There'll be a little bit of a the later the later players that come up. Hmm. Thought we missed out. Wait a couple more seconds, and then we'll head off. You could literally wait here as long as you wanted to. You could do the whole raid. Because there'll be people that are leaving the raid that will come past here as well. So, I don't know if you heard that click. See how the click comes in afterwards? You can't shoot while that click happens. And if you click before that click happens, then uh, the Mosin will just shoot as soon as that, after that click happens. So it's actually really annoying. Absolutely fucking pounds my chest, man. Alright, we're gonna be moving straight down the center. There was a player there. That should be enough to scare him. He threw a grenade at me. But what we're gonna try and do here. This guy us in a position where we could take the shot from 100 meters. Oh my god. Something really aggressive. A smart play here would actually be go all the way down to the end. And then go back out and see if we can shoot him from the end. I think he pushed in after me. I think he's going to expect me going up here.
Blood there. Scare bosses up. Oh god. Oh god. Broke both my legs. That sounds like inside gas station. Yes. There he is going into it. Yeah. No, I don't fall again. Oh, no way. No way that was above his head. Far out. I should have got that shot. I should have just done it on his head. The cheeky angle he held.
Best thing I can do here, in all honesty, is to actually relocate. So if he still thinks I'm up on the top, I'm actually somewhere else. Do have the issue with those scam bosses though. I can't believe I missed that shot. That was a gimme. What if I go get in there and just get upstairs without the scab boss seeing me? Yes. Run on soccer. Nope. That click! The click! I couldn't show because of the click! Oh! So lame! Fuck, I made some mistakes, man. <sighs> is what it is. Alright. Falling off and breaking my legs is lame. I need to take splints with me. I normally have splints with me. I just want to play on my main account. Lesson learnt. Look, we had too much gear, too much shit in our stash. We need to get rid of some stuff, so. Think of it like that. Part thing, we pretty much just ran straight down to the center and then stopped. Nothing too crazy happened. Um, the webcam case sold, sweet. All right, so let's just get this hideout thing done. And then we can be grooming in, in a couple of days. So stash. Uh, we need seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need two drills. One, two, and then upgrading. All right, cool. So that's upgrading. Um, we'll take that for today or for this raid. We'll go to Ragman and check what else he's got. Oh, sorry, Therapist. Check what else she's got for us. We can take those two. Um, that's really annoyed me about how that... Uh, the site thing was actually playing up there. Meds. And then what I want to do down here is put a splint. Cool. And we're ready to go to another raid. So we'll reload inside there. Not going to mess about. And uh, yeah, get into the next one. All right, we're in. We reload. All right, we're going to go for those sniper scabs. Hopefully there'll be one spawned in. On the last raid, we wasted a really good opportunity to get a 100 meter headshot, which sucks. So he's not up yet. I'm gonna push forward a little bit. There's another stop. It's not what's going that spawns up the top here.
Alright, so we want this dude down. Alright. That's two. There, this guy's spawned in yet. I'm not sure if I should sit in that middle tower like I did last time. They're sending a, a, a noise close right to me. Fuck off, you legged me. What I'm pretty much doing right now is just allowing time for these other snipers scavs this morning. Flashbang was a play on. Alright, so we're going to be switching this up a little bit. My aim and hope is that player actually pushes up onto the side of the hill. Got a lot of my 100 meter headshots along here too. Where we at? I can't tell if that's gas station or past it. To jump, he's on the bus, maybe.
Right. Yes. We did this quick enough. We might be able to get him from down here. He'll be out of stamina. I don't know if this will work. I got shot from the right! Are you fucking serious? Oh, it's lame. Are you fucking serious? What the fuck was that? What did he hit me with? I reckon the other guy had a fucking grenade launcher. Got shot by in the right, from the right with an SKS. The guy, the guy to my front, I swear to God, shot a, a grenade launcher at me. All right. Um, maybe I'll do voodoo. Voodoo time. So, get rid of that. We'll go try dash rail. Get all five of them. Oops, don't need it on the rail. That cool. Uh, that one. How are we going for time? Yeah, we're good. Helmet. Put the contacts ready. And some more SMB ammo. Ammo. Oh, Let's go. All right, we're in. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go straight to that middle section. We'll hit him. This is a voodoo site. This is my uh, my favorite long range site. I'm gonna be really quick about a couple of things. Oh god. Get up. Look over those sniper scavs. I wanna look, check. Checkpoint if I can. Mm, it's not there. I wanna try using this new spot for uh Trying to get the headshots. I mean, that sounds like snipers have shooting. Right, he was aiming towards the crack house. Right, 
Someone just went in there. Oh. I don't think that got him, but fuck, it must have been close. Alright, so it's only one vertical down. Keep an eye out over here for now. If I can go on at it. How many snipers guys are we up to? Four? Fuck, did he go? No, stop falling. Oh my god, that could be somewhere where actually we could shoot to. Hmm. 
I thought this would be a really good central spot to be, but it feels like you're always just a little bit too late to have a look at something. All the conflicts don't happen. I'm getting more and more reckless now. I thought this one that should be a really good spot, but the more it, it's kind of like it's in the middle of all the action. But what I mean by that is like over there's like the crack house, dorms, gas station, but doesn't have good odds on any of those locations. Like unless someone was like fighting on the staircase, which they wouldn't really do. The best thing you've got is like the like maybe construction. If someone went up on top of construction, you got a good shot. Not too bad for traffic flow because like a lot of places go through here but majority of people go around this section not through this section so they'll go up along around the edges of that side or on this side <coughs> now and plus you're obviously exposed to every angle so it is what it is Hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's get into a nighttime factory run. I, I don't, I'm not going to use that spot anymore. The more I think about it, the the worse it is. Like there's there's just a couple other spots that are just better. Unless you just wanted to go pro and then yeah. All right, so nighttime. I did that one with that one. We'll repair that one. We don't need to do any more sniping, so we could literally do it with this. Or this, we could take this guy's gun. We've got the mags for it now. We had the mags for it, I might have sold them all. Key in there. Let's go. Oh, I bounded my splint, didn't I? All right, we're in. We're a little bit late, actually. I'm gonna pre-med because I'm a little bit worried about having no idea where anyone is.
Put in. Okay, that was fun. So he's holding that corner there. He wants me to p to peek. Fuck that up. That went well. Couple more nighttime kills. We'll just do that each episode. We're gonna get, I think, is it 30? It's a lot. Yeah, it's 30. So, each episode we'll just do a couple until we get all of them as we're working on Chitter Board in Heaven. Maybe take in a Mosin sometimes. Get a couple through the Mosin. Good fun doing that though. Night right, time factory. I kind of wish there was more force, like they kind of force people into nighttime raids on other maps more often, but at the same time, I can understand why people would not like that. Oh yeah. Um, well, wow. Well. As for this episode, I think that's it. Um, it was good. It was a good. We got a bit done. We didn't complete any quests, but there is a lot to do at the moment to get a quest done. We're uh, halfway through level four now, or nearly halfway, which is good. Um, 18.5 out of 50. Uh, we've got four of our seven sniper kill scav kills done, which is sweet. And then, um, uh, that's that one there, sorry. And we've got a couple more nighttime kills. We're just gonna slowly progress through this stuff, including stuff like uh, getting charisma up to the, uh, level 10. That's gonna take a little while. Um, so we just gotta keep looting whenever we get a chance. And um, yeah, we'll slowly get there. So uh, it's a bit of a mess. I'm just going to dump it like this for now. We'll be going into sniping on the next raid episode anyway, so. Uh, quick. That old rag, man. I'll keep that one because I don't mind that one. I don't know what a VPX is worth. I'll just check that real quick. Twenty. Cool. Um. Now clean up that a little bit. And we have a lot of ammo we could just chuck away too. So. All right. 
So I'll do that. I'm pretty happy with that. So. We'll work out what we're going to do from there. I didn't even extend it. Anyway. Um, guys, thanks for watching another episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. Um, the game link below. Give me four over there. Talk with questions as usual. Comments below. Or hit me up on my live stream. Uh, share this with your friends. Smash the share like button for YouTube. Algorithm really does help out. Chuck a comment down below. It also helps out. Any YouTube video you like from any content creator, it always helps out with that whole uh, impression thing that they need to want to advertise them more. Uh, and lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.